Hi Stampers, welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Jill and I'm here to show you a fun idea with the Sweet Candy Cane stamp set and dies that coordinate with it. It has a big die in the back and the candy canes and some leaves. And this right here is also a tag that if you want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to bring in my tool here, my stamp and trimmer, and it's 11 inch by four and a quarter inch of real red. And I'm going to go ahead and score it in the center, five and a half. Then I'm going to go ahead and move that over to one and a quarter and make this album fold look. Let me move that out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and score this with my bone folder. And then I'm going to fold it back and score that too. Now I'm going to put adhesive right here just to hold that down. On this album fold, we have a YouTube video, and if you'd like to click the link below, they'll give you some more ideas. Okay, I'm going to take a 4x4 four four piece for the inside and the outside of basic white, but I'm going to stamp it first. I'm going to take the real red um, stamp pad and our two candy canes. If you notice, that both candy canes go opposite directions. So it doesn't matter which one you use for this, you can just use one. And I'm gonna take and ink this candy cane up, making sure I've got real red all over it because I want it really dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp one candy cane, re-ink it, and go ahead and walk this around the whole white, basic white cardstock. And I'm just kinda like making my own designer series paper with this candy cane and just moving my cardstock around so it looks real good. Filling it in. So that's, we got that for the front. Now on the inside of the card, I'm just gonna do one candy cane on the side, kind of coming off the cardstock, and then I'm gonna use one of the sayings, which I love. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So I'm gonna ink that up and just stamp that at the top. Love that saying. Okay, so we've got those two stamped. I'm gonna go ahead and hear those because something about red and <laughs> the ink is, I seem to get it all over my fingers all the time and then my card has inky fingerprints on it so let's get this inside of the card already and then this for the outside also i'm just going to put the stamp and seal on it and adhere it on the outside Okay, I went ahead and used some of the designer series paper that goes with this suite. And I love the red stripes. Red is one of my favorite colors to use in the holidays. And it seems like I don't get out of using, not using red for the holidays. Okay, so that looks really candy cane-y. And um, we're gonna do a saying. And I, using the strip of three quarter of an inch, and the merry and bright. See, there's already a thing of red ink on me. Merry and bright. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a dovetail or a little tail to this banner. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in the center and make little pointy edges to that, like a ribbon almost. Okay, I'm gonna take the Mary and Bite Bright banner and I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere it down to the real red um, strip. And this one is a quarter inch bigger than the other piece. So one is three quarters and this is one inch. So let's go ahead and do that in the center like we did the other one. 
and just make a banner from this too with the just kind of framing the stamp set or the saying. Now I'm going to want to take this and kind of do a diagonal. So I want to just by just by doing it, kind of looking at it and eyeballing it going up. Now I'm going to go ahead and pop that up with some dimensionals. And love how everything looks dim with these wonderful dimensionals. Can never live without them. And I'm going to take some cool rhinestones and put on here, but let me use this that use this beautiful iridescent trim. And I'm just going to put it in a knot. This really reminds me of Christmas. It's like tinselly and iridescent and just reminds me of the snow glistening on like in the winter morning, which, which we don't have snow where we're at, so I can always hope. Okay, then put rhinestones on it. Let me show you what it looks like when it's done. We've got five rhinestones and there is our cute card. Let me show you some more ideas with this candy cane sweet and DSP. This one is use the big die that cuts this out and use the DSP for the candy canes that are already printed. That is a DSP candy cane too. With the glitter and the paper. This is just a fun pocket card idea. And look how this makes a heart with the two candy canes. There's with a DSP, just stamped, super simple. This right here is using that die and just sponging it to make it look like it's background paper. Love using these candy canes on both directions. Another heart and crisscrossed. Hope you've enjoyed watching the Sweet Candy Cane stamp set with the dies and some ideas used with it. If you liked any of these products, click the link below and we'll see you next time on Watch It With Me. And this is just a fun pocket cold. This is just a fun park pocket cold. <laughs> this is just a fun. Wait a second. <laughs>